Now that we have mastery of the working principles of the Anubis, let's talk about setting up a dedicated Ravenna network. To make your life a little bit easier when setting up a dedicated Ravenna network, there's a list of compatible switches and configuration files on Merging's website. Let's head over there and grab one. So from the home page of Merging's website, we can hover over Support and then click on All Latest Downloads. Then if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see switch configurations. So you'll want to download the appropriate configuration for your switch. Since each of these are different on actually how to upload them to your switch, I'll let you do that part on your own. But there's an important thing to note here. I have the Cisco SG310, and this is the two VLAN version of their configuration file, which means that half of my ports will be regular internet and not talk to the other half of the ports which will be the Ravenna network. So I'm going to download this. If you just want a switch for Ravenna, you'll download one without a VLAN. Another important thing to remember is that if you're using a dual VLAN configuration in your switch, you'll need two separate network adapters in your computer to be able to use the internet and the Ravenna network at the same time. USB 3 to ethernet adapters can be had for very little money. Once you have the configuration file uploaded to your switch, you'll need to change the way the Anubis is connected to your system. First, take the Anubis and take a CAT6 or CAT5e Ethernet cable and plug it into the switch. All we need to do on this end, provided that we chose the right switch, is to just plug it in to an open port. Make sure that you're on the correct set of ports for whichever VLAN you've chosen to be your Ravenna network. Let's head over to Animan and configure some connections with our new Ravenna network. So same as before, we can see the core audio and the Anubis, so we can highlight those and then we can make whatever connections we choose. For now, I'll keep it very simple and just do two outputs. And I'll hit apply multicast. And also, I've added a happy to this network. So now we can select all of them and make whatever connections we need. And a little tip on assigning inputs and outputs quickly. If you leave them collapsed on both sides, you only have to click once. You don't have to click and drag. But if it's your preference or you have a more complicated routing that you want to do, you still have the option to select each channel instead of by banks of eight. So we'll hit apply multicast. And now we should have 16 inputs and outputs from the happy working alongside whatever inputs and outputs we want from the Anubis. Now that we've set up a dedicated Ravenna network, we can create additional speaker sets on our Happy that we can control from the Anubis.